No, I'm not here. I'm not here to talk about war, and about, particularly not at this time, you know, and uh, we're here to... Uh, not my favourite war either, the Second World War, you know. Well, if you're asking, the Falklands. <laughs> People say it was a conflict, it was a war. Um, and it was... Uh, it's my favourite war because it was a range war. What that means is that uh, the RG guns could fire nine kilometres and our guns could fire 17. So we just parked our boats about 10 kilometres. <laughs> and they were falling into the sea and we were shelling the shit out of them. <laughs> it's, it's the war equivalent of holding a midget at arm's length. <laughs> and he's flailing like that, like that. <laughs> and you're just steadily kicking in the bollocks. <laughs> What's it called? Malvinus! Crap. <laughs> What's it called? Um, that's why the Falcons is my favourite war. The little midget fellow, right? Okay. Uh, Vietnam, best soundtrack. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. First World War was good. You know, they say it was a great war. It wasn't great. It was good. I mean, no, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't great. For me, the great has got to be perfect. It wasn't perfect. I like the bayonets and the mustard gas. I didn't like the poetry. That, ooh, that sort of a brought... Oh, do you know what I mean? Brings a war down for me, poetry. Ooh, it's the only time poetry isn't bent. But even so, let's keep it out of war. Do you know what I mean? There's one poem that everyone goes on about because it's very poignant because the, the, the soldier uh, died writing it. And uh, I suppose it is quite poignant. It's called We Are The Dead. It goes, We Are The Dead. Once we lived, felt the sun on our face, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Be honest, if you'd had a gun in your hand instead of a pen, mate... <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck? Put it down! Pick your gun up, you cunt! Look! Ah... <laughs> uh... <coughs> Let's have a game of football in no man's land. Ah... Uh... Um, <laughs> Second World War was all, all right, but not uh, the ending. That, ooh, that tears a lot of people because uh, we say, "Oh, you know, the A bomb. It's you know, atomic power's bad, but war's bad. But it ended a war, so you know." And it was invented by Einstein, essentially uh, atomic um, power. And he's brilliant, isn't he? So so bright. Um, <laughs> no, he's, he said that uh, light could be dis described as discrete bundles of energies that when irradiated onto an unstable... What sort of cunt thinks like that? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's what turns Stephen Hawking's mental, too much thinking. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a doctor, but I'm pretty sure it's too much... Too, too much swatting can send you a little bit like him. I, I don't know, but it's sort of like... The universe is expanding. Of course it is, Stephen. <laughs> now, take a day off. Go for a walk. Not a walk, but, I mean, go out... <laughs> no, just open a window, at least just cut. Watch a bit of telly. Robot Wars is on. You like that? <laughs> no, I'm not, just... I'm just... I don't... I'm not... I'm being, oh, don't have a go at Stephen Hawking. He's a genius. He's not genius. He's pretentious. <laughs> Born in Kent and talks in an American accent. Um... <laughs> oh, no more war. No more war on oh, nasty things. Uh, animals have been used in war traditionally for you know forever. I mean, cavalry and uh, they used to send in dogs and goats to rip up the horses' underbelly in the 10th century and stuff. And uh, I was looking on the um, uh, U.S. Navy website researching the show, and. Uh, Look at the personnel, and they've got in the U.S. Marines. It's absolutely true. They've got a 90-strong team of um, sea lions and dolphins, and they're trained to take these depth charges down and drop them under submarines and blow the. Sh I mean, they don't know what they're doing. They're doing it for a bit of fish, but it's still. <laughs> but it's, I mean, and I think mainly it's the dolphins that do all the dangerous stuff, and the sea lions are more for morale when they get back. Going, that was brilliant. <laughs> Well done, let's go to... to what are you going to do tomorrow's? I, I would... I think I've got a bit of whooping cough coming on, so... <laughs> you're, you're doing a brilliant job. Um, uh, I did a lot of research on the internet for this uh, lecture, and um, it is the greatest resource in the world, but it, it's sort of clogged up with people doing homemade websites about themselves. I say, it's stuff like, my name is Rupert, this is my cat. Thanks very much. Uh, <laughs> here are my favourite Cure songs in order. I don't give a... Why are you... 
And there's trivia websites where people sort of go on there and add to them something they have to share with the world, like they think we care. And uh, they credit themselves. Like, they must wake up in a cold sweat and go, oh, I must tell the world this. And this is a real one. Um, the peanut is not a nut, it is a lagoon. Phew. And I... <laughs>